Yo, it's Bobby YouTube family. Welcome back to yet another banger. It's your boy King Kelly. You did what I'm saying. And we back with yet another one. Before we get started, man, if you haven't already, man, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Turn on my post notification and smash that like button. You feel me? And follow me on all my social media so y'all can stay lit and notified. But next up, man, we got a new series to the channel that I'd like to introduce today. You feel me? And it's going to be called Motivation Monday. You feel me? And basically what it's going to be about is every Monday I'm going to give y'all, like, a motivational topic. And I'm going to speak on it and, you feel me, shit like that. And I'm going to try to uplift y'all. You feel me? Basically. You feel me? Because I understand it's been a... 2020 was a tough year. You feel me? Going into this year, you feel me? Things still kind of shaky. And I feel like it's time for us to come up, man. And the best way for us to come up is for us to inspire each other. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do, man. So today, man, we're going to be talking about believing in your dreams, man. You feel me? Because everybody got a dream. Everyone. You feel me? It could be, you know, probably want to be a psychologist, it could be someone want to be a rapper, a basketball player, whatever it is. Dr. King had a dream. And that's like the main reason why I'm choosing this topic today because it's MLK Day. Happy MLK Day. So you know I had to choose this topic today because it goes hand in hand. It goes hand in hand for sure. But yeah, even he had a dream. That was his main thing. Like, his dream was, you know, to bring the whites and the blacks and everybody together. Bring everybody together. And for people not to be judged by the color of their skin, but for their character instead. And it might not seem like it, but his dream is actually achieving every day. It don't seem like it because all this police brutality and you just got Karens out there and People still racist, but back in the day before MLK, y'all know this shit was completely segregated. You couldn't even be in the same store. You feel me? White white people and black people weren't even in the same store. They had that separated. They had the restaurant separated. Everything was separated. Now you can go. You feel me? Everything is together. There's still racism, but everything is together. So. He fought for that dream, and that dream is being achieved. And I feel like that's the same way we need to do with our dreams. Because that's why he fought for our dreams, so we can be able to live our dreams. You feel me? He, he died so we can be able to live our dreams. And some of y'all are really letting people not supporting y'all be the reason why y'all give up on y'all dreams. Can't do that. Like... I remember, like, back when I was younger, I used to want to hoop. Like, that was my dream to be in the NBA. Like, when I was, like, five or six. But everybody used to always tell me, you can't do that. You're too short. You try. You're too short. Like, before they even seen me play, most people was already calling me sorry because I was short. <laughs> like, come on. Even the coaches, like, I remember I played for the YMCA team. Like, the coach ain't even want to put my ass in. Because I was, like, the shortest nigga on the team. Same with football. Like, I played for, like, on DP for two years. Sometimes, bro, I barely got put in. I'm, I'm not I'm not going to sit here and cap like I was, like, an all-star. They barely put me in, man. Because I was a short-ass nigga, you feel me? They ain't believing me. But did that stop me? No, I still kept going. Still kept playing ball. You feel me? The only reason why I switched up and stopped playing it is because that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to switch up and do something different. Not because they told me I couldn't do it. That's the same way with, like, rappers. There's it's a lot of rappers in the city right now or anywhere. They rapping right now, and a lot of people not supporting them from their own city. They not posting them when they drop a video and niggas saying they whack and they not better than so-and-so and... All this. But should they stop rapping? No. That should actually want to motivate you more so you can prove them people wrong. You should. That should make you want to go in the studio every day, drop video back to back, be more consistent. 
So you can show them that you made for this. No matter what they telling you, if that's your true dream, and you actually believe in it like you claim you do, then you should fight to achieve it, man. That's just that's the same way, like I'm if if it's a young girl right now, she probably studying to be a doctor. It's people telling her she's not smart enough. It's people telling her, oh, you can never be that. You can never do this. You can never do that. You can't do that. You can't do this. You can't listen to them people that are saying that. Because most of the people that's telling you that, they have insecurities within themselves. They only telling you you can't do it because they feel like they can't do it. That's the only reason why they're telling you that. And the same with this YouTube shit. I don't, you feel me? It's a lot of times I don't even be getting that much support from people I even rock with heavy. Like, some of my homeboys, like, they was like, Oh, you a sweet ass and you doing YouTube. I still did it. You feel me? I'm still doing it. I don't, I don't care what people going to perceive me as or portray me as. Because I'm going to follow my dream. You feel me? No matter what. And that's what y'all need to do. You got to believe in it. No matter who else believe in it or no matter who else supports you, you got to support yourself and you got to believe in yourself if you want to achieve it, bro. In order to believe it, no, no. In order to achieve it, you got to believe it. When you believe it, you're going to achieve it. And so that's basically all I want to talk to y'all about today. Like I said, I ain't trying to make it too long. I don't want to sound like I'm preaching or nothing, but that's basically what I want to give y'all a little motivation. Inspire your day. Brighten up your day. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, stay tuned for more. I'm going to be giving these out every Monday. And yeah, remember y'all. Try not to stress. Stay blessed. Hug your loved ones. Hug your people. I'm gone. Love.